Some cities are known for a certain food. Well, for example, Philadelphia has cheese steak, and of course, Nashville's known for hot chicken. Well, in our next story, Miranda Cohen travels to Cookville. And there she learns how a world famous hot dog at a beloved family eatery put them on the map. In the corner of Gibson and Highway 70 in Cookville, you will find a special place that connects more than just busy streets. A place where lives intersect, and it's called John's Place. The Upper Cumberland Development District's public historian Mark Dutney remembers it well. John's Place, the building here, was constructed in 1949. Uh, the, the building and the history of John's is synonymous with the history of the McClellan family here in Cookville. Albert McClellan had businesses right on the spot where this building was built starting around the turn of the 20th century for 50 years. The family business started as a grocery store and cafe, a local gathering place, and a community staple. Then in 1963, son John Lee took over the family business and coined the name John's Place. John Lee was a decorated uh, World War II combat veteran. He served in the European and Pacific theaters. And uh, he was an astute businessman. And John Lee McClellan was much more. He was a man before his time, a man who knew how to treat customers and to bring all people together. There was always a spirit of inclusion here, and Ed and then his brother John Lee uh, were the authors of that. So when they opened it to the public, uh, everyone was welcome. That spirit of inclusiveness has, has remained throughout its history. And they didn't make a big deal out of it, but it was definitely unusual at the time. Uh, the, the, it, it socially integrated years before legal integration in Putnam County. A simple place where people from all walks of life could come and share stories and share a laugh. And John Lee knew they needed to share something else. This cinder block building was built way back in 1949. Then in 2011, it was placed on the National Register of Historic Places. But that is not what makes John's Place famous. In 1964, John Lee wanted to um, come up with a signature food item people associated with here. So he partnered with a local meat company, Fouch's Meats, and they came up with the world famous John Dog. And so it's a short, fat, red hot dog. They steam it in beer, split it down the middle. Uh, it's a family secret, the special relish they put on it. It kind of made me think of when you go to the fair, and you have a really good hot dog, and they have a relish, sweet relish on there, and a mild mustard. It was amazing. Fast forward almost a half century, and very little has changed. And the world famous John Dog is still served, and it's still famous. All right, world's famous John Dog. It's famous. Uh, I've been eating it since I was a kid. It's the same recipe that he created. The homemade relish. That's the important part. Nephew Bill Roberts is now at the helm. He came on at the request of his aunt and John Lee's widow, Miss Mary Alice, who is somewhat of a legend in her own right for once serving up a delicious soul food buffet, a tradition many would love to see return. She was an old school Southern cook and uh, when I would come over here on Wednesday nights, the, she kept the cornbread in a steamer so it would be nice and, uh, and moist and, and not dry out. And she just knew the seasonings, the fried chicken and the catfish and, and all of that stuff. Along with the famous John Dog, they dish up lots of other traditional comfort food favorites, like a crispy fried fish sandwich, a phenomenal burger, and even fried bologna. John's Place is and always has been a vital part of the community, whether it's for a game of pool, feeding the locals at the holidays, or as the unofficial gathering spot for any and all things Tennessee Tech.
It all started by a beloved local family and was made even better by their next generation's vision for a brighter future. This place was a melting pot of the local uh, African-American community. Uh, you had kids from, uh, from Tennessee Tech. You had, you had all the, uh, the working people coming in and out. And it just had a reputation that everybody was welcome there. It was a place to go and have a good time for everybody. A lot of people may not know all of the significance of, of this place, but again, it's, it's all about the people. It's about, it's about the traditions that were, that were set from the beginning. I think it's really cool because everyone here is very welcoming. It feels like home. He used to say that um, John's Place did more to integrate the Upper Cumberland than the politicians did, and I think he was right. They've continued to do what works, and it, it has worked for almost a century, and it's incredible. And uh, it's still, they're still serving the community, and it's still a place where people can go and have a good time, and everybody's welcome. Hey, how'd you like the story? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you enjoyed it, we have a lot more where that came from. Here's one you might like. And please click here to subscribe so you'll know when we premiere new videos. Thanks for watching.